Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, this is TigerHazardKicks.com and this morning I'm going to talk about the Jordan 12 Cherry. Now this shoe was originally released in 1997 and for those uh, who don't know, it came back in 2009 for the last time. Now this is a shoe that's a classic. I love the colorway. I think it's probably second to the flu game 12. Again, this one I remember buying this in Japan uh, several years ago in the original pair of 1997 from Japan and the smell, as I, as I was writing the article earlier yesterday, I can still recall the smell of the shoe again. It's, it's a brilliant, it's an amazing um, colorway, uh, white tumble leather upper with red on the mud guard and pretty much, I don't want to talk too much, you've seen plenty of videos on YouTube on this Jordan 12 and Cherry and I am just want to show you the pictures real quick and we're going to jump into the gist of the reason why. I'm releasing this uh, video this morning we're going to talk about the resale value all right so basically again an incredible shoe uh, i'm sure a lot of people are going to cop this i feel like this is a shoe that's going to actually revive a little bit of the dying uh, sneaker uh, culture i mean it's really dead right now because i feel like a lot of the shoes that the, the brands are dropping are not creating any wow kind of emotion because it's just everything is just oversaturated you know the same stuff over and over and i'm sure this is doing well because we haven't seen this uh, for the past 14 years so this is the reason why a lot of people are excited about it and i'm excited as you can see all right so we're gonna now talk about resale value but before we get into that let me show you a couple of things here so we're gonna talk about uh the release details the shoes are gonna cost about 210 dollars the last time they dropped they were about 160 so inflation of course is doing its damage uh now it's like 210 that's like actually 50 dollars more than uh it cost uh in in 2009 and that's explainable again i, I mentioned uh the inflation so uh the style code this time is ct8013116 the shoe is, is dropping on saturday october 28th the colorway officially is white black and varsity red now you can buy this from nike from Foot Locker. From downtown locker room, from finish line, JD Sports, Nordstrom, like there's plenty of other mini resale you know, retailers that are selling it, so it's not gonna be a hard one to get. But there's going to be some surprises that I'll show you in a little bit. So now we're gonna talk about resale. This is why everybody's here. All right. So resale. So I'm gonna show you something first. Now this is the resale value versus time. So basically that's between October the 24th and October the 25th. So I collected my data. And this is my observation. As you can see, from the 24th to the 25th, the shoe went from 262 down to 253 dollars, basically um, dropping by a nine dollar um, value. But this is still great news, considering the fact that for the most part, all Jordan 12s that I've dropped lately have been reselling for under the retail price. Especially the, the last one that I just dropped, the Jordan 12 Black and Purple it's reselling now for under retail so if you're a reseller you should be a little bit happy i'm not i'm just saying a little bit because the retail price is actually really high so let's read the observation again so what i did was um like i said this was great news for people that are actually looking to resell the shoes so i collected some data again and i gave you my five number summary there as you can see the lowest the shoe sold for was uh, 237 and uh, that's for a size 10 and the highest sale was 335 for a size 14. now 25 percent of the shoes sold between 237 and 252 and then half of them sold between 252 and 262 and the top 25 percent sales were between 262 and 335 now i found three outliers now an outlier is on the regular value meaning this is not something that's going to occur very uh, frequently so the outliers were 317 323 and 335 and they corresponded to sizes 9 16 and 14 now if you disregard these outliers let's say that you stretch them out and you take them out of the, your data the uh, uh, overall average resale value is about 256 and that's a three percent volatility so you can expect pretty much 95 percent of the shoes to sell between 242 and 270 with that three percent volatility is a low volatility that's pretty that's good news for someone that likes safe stuff but if you when it's a, when the volatility is a, is too high that means prices can drop 
at any given moment they can change very rapidly now here we have a three percent volatility so there's not going to be too much of a change as uh, the days get closer to the release date so you can expect the shoe to sell for 256 uh 256 256 bucks in general and that's a profit of ten dollars that's like a five percent markup that is still below average but doesn't mean that you shouldn't resell the shoe there might be sizes that might be worth reselling we're gonna see that in a minute so i'm gonna show you another table here real quick so i went and collected some data on sizes so as you can see if you sell a size 10 you make about six dollars a size 10 and a half you make about seven a size 11 you're gonna make about 19 bucks a size 11 and a half you make about 13 dollars a size 14 a size 12 you make about 14 and a size 13 you make about 15 bucks a size 14 you make about 54 dollars and a size 16 you make 71 a size seven and a half you make 22 size eight and eight and a half you make about four dollars a size nine you make 14 and a size nine and a half you make six so now what can we say and conclude about this shoe now if you look at, like i say on on the earnings on the earnings but by size sold 31 percent of the sales led to earnings under ten dollars that is the size eight eight and a half ten and ten and a half i mentioned them and then 38 uh, percent generated profit between 10 and 20 bucks okay that's like the the, the, the size that are a little larger like 11 to like 13 and then a nine and the size seven and a half kind of surprised me a little bit i guess it's the size that a little it's, a, it's not that common so that's gonna probably fetch a little more money as you can see it's 22. now the sizes with the highest margins where size 14 and 16 with 54 and 71 so should you resell the shoe is the question should you resell it well that's that's a good question now it all depends on the size that you acquire now to ensure that you actually have a profit of 15 percent or above you need to aim for like larger sizes let's say 13 or above 13 14 15 that will give you a decent profit now the low vol volatility does ensure that you won't lose any money on the shoe but you can't expect any extravagant like returns like home runs you know that's not going to happen you're probably going to end up with five dollars or ten dollars on most pairs unless you have a size 13 or above now for retail retailers are going to sell out it's a shoe that people want they're anticipating it so it's going to be a good one that's going to sell very well via retail all right so i've also written an, an article on how to identify the fake pairs so you can check my website go to www.houseofkicks.com I went through uh, an entire post showing you what you can do to identify the fakes. So you can check that out on my website. I'll give you the link. All right. So this is all I wanted to talk about today. Again, the Cherry 12, again, is a shoe that I, I think everybody should get that shoe. It's a great shoe, man. So go ahead. And uh, if you like this uh, kind of you know, video, please subscribe to the channel. I was told to say that. Subscribe to the channel and also like this video. All right. Again, thanks for watching. This is Ty from Master Kicks, and stay tuned for more stuff.